Hello everyone! Alright, so this is going to be an announcement video. I have some good news and some bad news, so let's kick it off with the bad news. Uh, for those of you who have not been following along with my last few videos, I've been working on building up Sanctuary. I'm about halfway done and have at least five or six videos of me building various parts of it. So the bad news is that a couple of days ago, my most recent save file became corrupted, meaning that I cannot load it. Yeah, so the most recent file after that one just has my Sanctuary Marketplace, which is the first thing that I built in Sanctuary, and it's not even decorated. So everything else since then, I don't have access to. Like, I spent the last couple of days trying to fix this, looking into it, doing all this research, and yeah, it's not gonna happen. Plus, I'm on Xbox, so all of my saves are conveniently back up to the cloud that that damn cloud man and there isn't a way for me to back them up on a flash drive at least from what I've read because they're all dicking around up there in the cloud somewhere and you know and I had multiple saves but the game overwrites them if it auto saves and I'm in the same area at least that has been my experience like this has happened to me at least one other time that I can remember so yeah I lost my mind I was incredibly pissed off as anyone should be and then I just started rebuilding I mean it's it's really not that bad you know all I have to do is you know, rebuild everything that I've done so far which leads me to the good news, or maybe this is just news for some of you. So what you're seeing in this video is what I have rebuilt so far. Not bad, right? The goal was to at least get my structures back before I continued building more because I wanted to go off of what I've already done, and I'm pretty much done with that. So since I'm rebuilding this, I decided to switch over to PC. Yeah, so everything that you're seeing now is on PC. Now hear me out. There are a few reasons why I decided to switch over. One being that I'll actually have control over my saves. I can back them up and shit like this won't happen. So that's a big one. Another reason is that it loads so much faster. Like with all the mods that I have on the Xbox, it literally takes me seven minutes to load up the workshop. Yeah, no exaggeration. I've timed it seven minutes, which can be a real pain in the ass if I need to interact with something or save my game because I've built so much. And with the same mods on the PC, it takes me four seconds to load the workshop menu. Huge difference, right? And that leads me to my next point. Even though I'm going to be building this on PC, I'm still going to use all of the same mods that I use on Xbox. I'm not going to use anything that's exclusive to PC, like Homemaker. That's a very popular mod on PC, which I've checked out. It's a great mod, but we have access to most of the stuff that it gives us with different mods. You know, it might have a few extra items here and there, but from what I could tell, it wasn't anything major that I couldn't live without. So yeah, you aren't going to see anything too different. It's going to be the same menu layout, the same mods, so I really don't think you're going to notice a big difference. And you know, this might not be a big deal, me switching to PC, because a lot of you didn't even know that I played on Xbox. I get a lot of comments from people thinking that I build on PC, but I've always been on Xbox, and that's why I'm making this video and talking about this, just in case there are a good bit of you who follow me because I'm on the Xbox. But you know, I do think you guys are pretty well balanced though. Uh, I really don't think I have more Xbox viewers than PC or PS4. It seems like a good mixture judging by the comments that I get. But regardless, you guys know that I try to cater to everyone. I know that I do a lot of builds with mods that aren't available on PS4, but I always talk about an alternative way that you PS4 users can build whatever it is I'm building, and I also include links to PS4 mods that will give you the same kind of stuff that I'm working with. And after my Sanctuary build, I might move back to Xbox for the smaller builds that I do, just because, you know, that's, that's home to me. I've always played on console, but, you know, I'll just see how it goes and see what you guys think. Either way, after my Sanctuary build, I will do more builds where I only use mods available for PS4, and even some that are strictly vanilla with and without DLCs for those of you who don't use mods or have any of the expansions. I like to mix it up, you know, and I don't like to have anyone left out or watch my videos and think they can't replicate my builds if they wanted to. Anyways, the last thing that I want to talk about is the really good news and the biggest benefit of me switching over to PC for this build. I get so many people asking me daily if I'm going to make my settlements into mods where you can download them into your game. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten that question. And the answer has always been, I would absolutely love to, but I'm on Xbox. There isn't a mod like Transfer Settlements that allows me to do that. So I'm just, I'm just waiting for one. 
But now that I'm building on PC, I can do that. I can and will share the blueprints for whatever I build so you guys can have my settlements in your games if you wanted them. Which I'm very excited about because like I said, a ton of you asked me that question and now I'm going to be able to do it. And the author of Transfer Settlements is also working on a way for us to be able to build a settlement on PC and upload it to Xbox One. They didn't say anything about PS4, but I'll definitely keep a lookout for that. So as soon as that's available, I'll upload my builds on there as well. I want to make them available for everyone that I can. But yeah, that's all the news I have. I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what I'm doing. Like I said, you aren't really going to see a difference. I'm going to use the same mods and everything. I think the only thing you'll notice is that the game quality will be a lot better because let's be honest, it's PC. It's always better. And I'm a little behind on my build video because of having to rebuild everything. But uh, I'll have one up very soon, probably tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be fixing up the last of the Sanctuary Houses, which those are pretty easy and you've seen me fix up a couple already. So after I finish those, which I think I have two or three left, I'll be building some custom structures based off all the suggestions you guys gave me, which is really going to fill this place out and bring it to life. So I should have a video up tomorrow and another one by Thursday, so definitely keep a lookout for that. But thanks again for watching and listening to me talk. If you have any questions, please let me know. And also let me know what you guys think about the switch over to PC. Is it a big deal? Do you not really care? I would love to hear what you guys think. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.